Hello, my name is Marie. Today we are taking a look at the new 50 caliber conversion from Canada Ammo. This new conversion kit fits on the AR-15 lower. Perfect. I my first round with the 50 BMG. Wish me well! Yeah. Oh, of course he said. That's why you heard me hold that thing. I know that. I didn't waste your hold. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, that was. Oh. Thumbs up. Woo! I love it. Right on. Thank you. <laughs> Think you enjoyed it? Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> I really enjoyed shooting the 50 caliber upper. Thank you, Canada Ammo, for this wonderful opportunity. Hey Marie, glad you really enjoyed that. That was pretty awesome. And the slow motion feature at the end there, that's just incredible how it uh, shakes your hair around. That looks really good. Um, you went back for a second shot and a third shot. That was pretty awesome. Uh, as you found out, it does recoil pretty abruptly, but not punishing, so that's pretty cool. I remember on the range day that you're in the respect of a lot of the guys there. That was uh, pretty brave yeah. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the upper in question. We'll go through this with a bit more detailed uh, technical approach. So let's take a look at it right now. So once again, you've taken the upper off your AR-15 lower. You've removed the fold open device here. That's come out of there. We've taken the buffer and the spring out. We now have the lower ready to assemble onto the DA50 upper and again locks in with the takedown pins here. The kit itself comes with the receiver, the barrel, the extruded aluminum, uh, mounting rails, whatever, the bolt and a replacement hammer and spring. The hammer needs to be replaced because it's a slightly different shape and it needs to have some clearance issues and the spring needs to be somewhat stronger to give a substantial whack to the harder military 50 BMG primers. The bolt cannot, when it's assembled like this, it cannot insert from the rear end because just the way it's machined. It needs to be disassembled. So that involves undoing the handle, pulling the bolt off, the bolt head off, Keep the spring and 
firing pin in place there. Insert that through the back end. Insert the bolt head through the side, through the slot in the side. It's a little bit tricky to get the firing pin to go through there, but I find that if you just turn it uh, slightly, it uh, lines up itself, it finds its own center. Align the two holes. There may need to be a little bit of pressure put on there to get them to, to line up. And when they do, then you insert the handle in, thread the handle, lock the two pieces together. The barrel and the receiver are steel, of course, as you would naturally expect to see it. Holds a magnet. The bolt, handle, head, bolt body are all steel, as is the hammer. The rail system in the forend here, that is extruded aluminum. It will not hold a, a magnet, being as it's aluminum. The Picatinny pick rail, full length, that gives you a lot of room for mounting optics on. At 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock are very short pick rails, and at the bottom at 6 o'clock is another short Picatinny rail, good for mounting bipod. You'll notice in the a segment that uh, Marie was using this firing up a table that had a bipod mounted to it. We take a closer look at the muzzle brake. It has a large, really efficient three port muzzle brake. It's very efficient. It uh, grabs the exhaust gases, redirects them sideways, cuts down on the muzzle blast or the, the recoil quite considerably at the expense of the increased muzzle blast. But it does its job and glad it's there. The entire package retails from Canada Ammo for $1,600. It's a good starter kit. It's uh, a great way to get into the 50 BMG game for under two grand, which in itself is quite astonishing. And I really welcome the chance to have uh, test fired it and had an opportunity to show it off to you guys. So thanks for watching.